so with this let's let me first uh, welcome uh, uh, mesh uh, sarda sarma who is the founder ceo of uh, and chief editor of your story welcome to you madam and you know this is a you know media technology platform uh, company and you know she has been supporting entrepreneurs in, in 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 a very big way the your story i think you know if you know all long timers of icit academy uh, we still remember in 2011 you no know, yes. madam was one of the speaker in our bridge conference at coimbatore you no know, that that the time where in fact uh, you know uh, uh, youtube you know you, our your story was growing and uh, no they were about to scale and we were very proud to have you at that point in time and today we are very proud to have you in a much much bigger bigger uh, scale and you no know, after a bigger growth and last year we were very you no know, happy you know she could interview our honorable prime minister at a very very important situation and you you made all of us proud and specifically all of our uh, women faculty members were very proud you no know, on looking at you ma'am so yeah. next 20 minutes or uh, 25 minutes is all yours so you no know, i would request you to deliver I know your talk and key. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, uh, it's such an honor to be uh, talking to you. Know, I feel so connected to ICT Academy because, uh, like you said, in 2011, very early days uh, of my own journey, I had moved to. I remember Bangalore in 2010, 2011. I was invited to Coimbatore, and I still remember taking a bus and <laughs> reaching early morning because from Bangalore to Coimbatore, early morning I had reached. And and the kind of treatment, the kind of people I get to meet, got to meet, and everything. i really value and cherish it so thank you so much so when you asked me to do this it was no brainer but to uh, 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 come and talk so thank you thanks so much for the honor uh, coming to you know the topic is the topic this week which you are following and 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 discussing about is future future of technology future of uh, entrepreneurship future of education future what the future would be so you know before we look at future today there are some pointers that i would like to leave for everyone and these are by no way answers or anything but i'm going to leave more questions in your mind because in your own time you figure out what exactly is the right answer and should be the answer so to look at any kind of future i believe that we have to look at the past and if we have to look at future of technology future of our own lives future of the money that we will make future of the growth that we will have and what will our life be in the future i think we have to look at the past and if you look at the past as humans and i will not go back to uh, complete long long history but let's look at the history in the last 50 years or 30 years or maybe 20 years because this holds true for hundreds of years but let's look at the last 30 to uh, 50 years if you look at our past you see there are few things which has hold true every year and for many many years and for decades and what are some of those things number 1 if you see from maybe early 1900 to now if you see one of the things that has stayed constant is the growth in efficiency every year we are becoming more and more and more efficient what does that mean yesterday when i was walking you know in this lockdown just next to my house i saw this there's this old building of and it is written post office there if you see earlier we all used to use post office but today we are all using emails to communicate we are talking digitally because it is more efficient it is more easy we don't have to walk to go to a post office we can do it online i'm just giving you an example you can think of hundreds of example that every year over the last many years we have become efficient so one thing which our future our past tells us is that one consistent thing is how everything becomes efficient so there is a value to efficiency second thing there is a value to doing things you know ease of doing things ease of being ease of uh, living so anything that makes us th- makes our life easy makes us in a way if i may say so lazy those things have over the years got lot of preference and and that doesn't change third is advancement because of this efficiency because of ease of doing things human kind and us as professionals as businesses as people have always advanced and you can see the kind of advancements that are happening we didn't have businesses 15 years back like facebook like google but if you see these kind of businesses have come today in india they are like 50 thousand startups who are doing interesting building interesting solutions interesting things so there is an advancement of what we do 
how we live has happened and fourth is wealth creation if you see in the last 50 years that one thing which has stayed true to the course is that people have made money wealth has got created and that wealth creation has led to a lot of upliftment and different thing good things happening in the society as a community as it also in the country now if you look at all the things that i mentioned to you these are things which has stayed true in the last 50 years i can say in the last 200 years in the last 500 years we have optimized for efficiency to become more efficient we have optimized uh, to create a lot of easiness in our lives to make our lives easy our living our doing business everything easy third thing is it has led to constant advancement in the way we do things in the way we live and fourth is the wealth creation that constantly happens now to all of you and especially to the educators what will the future hold what is the what is the future going to hold the future is also going to hold these basic things we will from what we are doing today how will we be more efficient like everything that we are doing today will get more and more efficient everything that we are doing to the way we are living is going to get more and more easy the everything that we are uh, you know today thinking is advanced will become very backward and there'll be something new which will be totally advancing than our way of living and doing things today and wealth what we think as wealth right now like india has one and a half 2 trillion dollar economy india will also have a 5 trillion dollar economy then 10 trillion dollar economy and then the way things operate in that kind of wealth which percolates down to the bottom and to everyone will be very different our way of living thinking doing things will be different now i would say i you know i can i can of course tell all of you oh to make these th ha things happen what's the best place to be the best place to be would be oh you should be very efficient in ai art you know artificial intelligence will be big you we will be living in the scientific era and technology era so no part of the him humanity will not be untouched by technology by science all those things will be a reality all the movies that we see no of future gizmo movies all of them will be a reality but saying that i think all of you know that better so let me not concentrate in telling you that because that you will have to figure out that if these are the tenets of efficiency more efficiency more ease of living doing behaving being and uh, advancement and wealth creation if those are reality of the future then how do you have to operate you will have to see the only message today through this interaction i would like to discuss and talk to all of you is that you know one thing which held may be true in our parents era in our grandparents era in yester era but will not hold true and maybe to a large extent even in my early era but will absolutely not hold true any more any more is that the skills that you have the learnings that you have will hold true but you have to every day every week every month and every year reinvent yourself because the pace of the change is going to be so fast that what you learned what degree you had what you were taught is not going to hold steady throughout your journey earlier you could do you know you could write civil services exam become an ias officer so your journey to a certain extent is defined earlier you could do an engineering degree get a engineering degree get a job in infosys or a wipro or in it companies and your job your life to a large extent was defined today if we all have to be aware every day of only one reality that the reality which was there yesterday is no more going to hold true if we have to have our own future and be ahead and create lot of wealth and success and purpose for ourselves then we need to con constantly constantly reinvent ourselves so what you have today you cannot rest on your laurels but you need to constantly think of new ways new things to do now i will tell you from my journey how it this holds true as <coughs> anubanti had said that that i started my journey as you know as a journalist in times of india in a newspaper then i worked in news channel cnbc and then after that i started your story which is a digital platform when i started in 2008 digital platform everyone told me everyone laughed at me because they said who reads news stories online everyone because we were all used to opening newspaper we were all 
used to watching TV. So none, nobody was used to reading news and information online. So everyone said this is not going to work because you will not have people reading because since many years we have been reading news on newspaper and TV. And second thing is news has to be uh, negative. If there is negative news, if we hear about death, if we hear about rape, if we hear about all negative immoral things. That's what when we open newspaper, we read. And that's what we hear people shouting on TV. And people said that if you're going to tell positive stories, and if you're going to tell stories digitally, it's nobody's going to read. But I believed that future is going to be digital. Future is technology. I believe that since I looked at the past, the easier we make people's life, the more efficient we make people's life, people will always value that. So how do you, so digital makes your life easier and efficient because today you don't have to, you know, open a newspaper, wait for it at any given time. If you want to read something, newspaper information, you can read it. It makes your life efficient and it gives you on the go, you can consume content. So I started this in 2008. Today, I'm so happy to tell you that 10 million people, and that's a huge, huge number, much more than a lot of TV channels, much more than a lot of newspapers. People in India and across the world read us, consume us, engage with us. And we have told 90,000 stories, 90,000, I think it's unprecedented stories of entrepreneurs in this country. We have been able to tell that because and why I'm not saying that I knew all the answers, but I definitely knew in 2008 that the world early signals were that the world is going to change and the world will look for efficiency will we'll look for ease of consuming content, ease of finding information. And that's how I did this. Now, I'm just giving you an example so that when you go back and you define your own current journey, your own current life and the lives of students and young people. So the question to be asked is, I would say, is that when they are defining their future and when they are looking at their future, what is future going to be? So what do you want to do? Where do you want to be? And then you look at how, what do you want to do? How you can, how can you get there? If you have a solution which makes it more efficient, which makes it more, uh, uh, you know, optimized, then you can create it. And how do you do all these things by reinventing yourself? See, when I started in 2008, I didn't know anything about digital. I just didn't know because I was working in a TV channel. I was working in a newspaper. Now you can understand that someone who's working in newspaper and TV channel doesn't know digital online, right? And I started yourstory.com. The website was online, building the website, what to do, everything I had to learn. And basically, when I was a vice, I was a vice president in CNBC in a very senior role. And so I had a lot of people doing things for me, right? So it's not that everything you were doing. But with your story, I had to learn to do everything from scratch. And what it meant is that last 10 years, 12 years, I started in 2008, has been a constant learning. Things are changing so fast, so fast that I cannot say that, oh, I'm successful, I've done this, because every day someone is coming with something new. Every day the world is changing. Earlier I started with writing digitally. Now I'm putting a lot of videos because people are no more reading also. Now they want to watch quick videos and very quick videos. Where in that snapshot, you should be able to give them everything and something that they can use in with low internet connection also. So you know, it's a constant change. And that is what I'm going to, one of the messages, what I want to give all of you through this discussion, through this forum early morning today on a Tuesday morning is when you look at your life, when you look at your life, then start asking your question in personal, professional, in all kinds of life. Where do you want to be? I define my life that I want to be successful. I didn't know what successful means because the definition of success keeps on changing and you have to constantly keep on striving to be successful. I knew that I don't want to be financially dependent on anyone. I should make my own money. I didn't know that oh, I have to make billion dollar or the, all this didn't excite me, but I knew that tomorrow basic money I should have to take care of myself or my friends and family if they needed something. So then for that, how do you then go about creating your future? Then I 
the, with this was my goal i married this goal with my journey of you know my learning of what happened in the past what are the things that have continued in the past and worked for everyone for the society for the world and for the people and especially for successful people what have they done and this is the, this formula these things which i told you these are the things i saw has worked over the years people have optimized for efficiency people have optimized for ease of doing things people have optimized for advancement from wherever they are in every aspect of their lives and people have uh, optimized for wealth creation because when wealth gets created then everyone makes money and i'm not talking about you know salary money but you create wealth and who are these people who have created wealth if you look at history if you look at past 50 years past 100 years wealth have not been created by anyone except by entrepreneurs entrepreneurs are people who started doing their own thing and entrepreneurship is the hardest thing that you can do and i am also one of the living testimony of it you know entrepreneurs is tough and very very tough but it is also one of the most rewarding journeys and if you see people who have created wealth are people who are entrepreneurs any you name it and and there are people uh, if you see large businesses be it infosys which employed so many people or be it you know you name the company be it apple be it ibm be it cisco be it microsoft everything or in india you look at flipkart ola everything has been created by an entrepreneur i would say tomorrow the future of wealth the future of growth the future of prosperity of our country especially india is going to be on the shoulders of entrepreneurs we cannot have more and more job seekers because we will not have as many jobs as we had in the past and why will we not have as many jobs as we had in the past i'll ask all of you to think about it why will we not have as many jobs we will not have as many jobs because as i told you the world only looks for efficiency the world only looks of for ease of doing things and the world looks for advancement so if earlier in infosys thousands of people could be employed to do a certain kind of role now if the world naturally moves towards efficiency then the same things tomorrow can be done by machines the same thing can be done by advancement of technology the same things can be done in much faster way with fewer number of people and if that is the way the world we are living unfortunately or fortunately in a world of technology and technology is not going away anywhere it is just going to get better and better and better and in that kind of a scenario what it's not that we are going to get lots of jobs it's not going to be that oh jobs are going to keep on coming keep on coming what will what will be required is not telling people that oh go seek a job i would say that tomorrow the biggest wealth creators the biggest success stories the biggest people who will create the maximum impact on society on the nation on the world will be entrepreneurs and and and, and entrepreneurs will be able to give jobs to more and more people and today i would urge that on and and if you have to become entrepreneur how do you decide you know how do i become an entrepreneur how do i become a successful entrepreneur how do i create wealth how do i uh, you know build a large business how do i do all those things and employ lot of people i would say again go by the first principles for everything that you do or decide to do start thinking if i have to become a very successful entrepreneur make lots of money and 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 create job security and do very well then one of the first things that i have to do is whatever idea i have whatever i am pursuing i have to see how for the human beings how for the world around me how for my society i can make it very efficient very easy very advanced and then you will automatically have wealth so start looking at all your questions with that lens in mind and then i think we are all going to and i, I you know honestly i really believe that in spite of all the tough time that we are all facing because of covid and 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 you know the the stress that we are feeling as a country as a world i feel if there is any country in the world which is the best place to be right now to the best place for a potential to grow to have very 
great outcomes to make money it is india if i have you know i feel that anyone who is smart has to see that the biggest opportunity is going to be here in this country because when we were growing up one of the big things was oh success meant going to us and working in us or going to some other place around the world but today success means building a large business or doing something powerful and meaningful in this country because if you look at the history again if you study the history and capitalist history and economic history of the world then you will see that you know it has also been cyclical so growth has come in different different parts of the world now the this now the century is of asia and you are seeing that how china is doing very well you are seeing how southeast asia is doing very well how singapore has become the financial capital of the world earlier it used to be london and so i feel india with its 1.3 billion population is going to be the biggest biggest uh uh growth story and engine and 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 if we all start thinking that in india if we have to grow create lot of wealth and then and look at the future and have a solid future not an uncertain not a future where we stress what will happen then we have to go back again and again and look at the first principle of what i has and i can't repeat it enough everything that i do and live and engage with how does it become more efficient how does it become more easy how does it become more advanced and how do i create wealth and to do all that i told a very important thing which i want all of us to remember every day it is like brushing our teeth when we brush our teeth every day i want us to remember every day that we what we learned yesterday doesn't matter today it is useful it's helpful i'm thankful that i learned but i have to keep reinventing i have to keep relearning i have to keep doing better and i have to constantly test myself that in the world which is changing so fast around me i do not become old and i don't mean old by age old i mean because some of the 70 80 90 year old people are far young than 20 year old people and they're young because you're constantly reinventing relearning re energizing yourself to be at the top of the game because the world is going to move so fast that what was fashionable a year back will be outdated and in that kind of a scenario how prepared are you in terms of reskilling relearning and being on top of the game and this is my message to everyone that we will you know nothing can beat us nothing can beat us if we are on top of our own game not on anyone else's game and how can we be on top of our own game by being the master of our own game how do we become master of our own game when we say that okay we are every day a little better than yesterday and every day we are much smarter than yesterday every day we are getting much cooler than what we knew uh, yesterday and every day we feel far happier than what we felt yesterday and all that happens when you have that curiosity in your spirit in your soul to say that hey i'm going to be ahead in my own game and and if you have this thing then whatever the future will be whatever however the future will be i can assure you one thing that you will be the winner of your own story you will be very happy and you will be very successful because what we teach or oh, to you have to do abc to be successful or blah 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 all those things also keeps on changing but what doesn't change is our own inner fire that whatever it might be i'll be always very agile i'll always be very flexible and i'll always be learning and i will always have curiosity because if people if the world is changing then i am changing and people will see me ahead and people will see me constantly reinventing to be on top of the game so this is my message to all of you this is what i would like you all to consider because you know i have realized in with my journey with my life that people come and help there will be lot of people to help us but at the end of the day the hardest it's the hardest by the way and it's the toughest by the way but the only person who can help ourselves is us right so and it's such a job i always say that improvement being successful making lots of money creating wealth creating employment and having a very strong and uh, fearsome fearless future requires hard work on every day basis it's like a muscle we have to keep on building and you know with muscle and to people who go to the gym or not go to the gym or walk every day you know that if you don't do something for 10 days or 20 days or 5 days even it becomes 
back it goes back to square one so life i would say is like building muscle future is about building muscle whatever the future would be if you have a strong muscle you'll be able to deal with it and strong muscle comes when you work on yourself every day don't rest on your laurel and say i'm going to learn every day come what may and i'll be uh, you know curious on top of the game and i will make life around me and people's life more efficient because what will be the future more efficient more easy more advanced and with more wealth and if that's going to be the future how do i operate and that's how you build your own blueprint on how you're going to operate and in that operation think i'm going to lead it rule it by just being better every day and working on my own self and my own learning my own skills so constantly look for new skills constantly learn new skills because skills you know in today we are talking ai i don't know what we will talk two years down the line it could be even more new there'll be new world because five years back we used to talk about data uh, a uh, big data right now big data nobody talks big data now everyone talks about ai now two years down the line one year down the line ai might become old and someone will talk something else so things will keep on changing so fast how are you going to be ready is your journey your decision which you can which is only in your hand you are certain about how to operate in this change and how to operate in whatever uncertainty newness different things future brings i'll be ready and i'll be ready because i'll be so fast so nimble so agile to change to learn and to play in the new arena i'll not be stuck up i'll not be holding to what i learned in the past and i'll not be holding to my past because i will learn from my past but i'll embrace the future and this is my advice to all of you um, and uh, all the very best i believe we all have uh, you know we are all the makers of our own story nobody else can write a story people can help us but tomorrow if there is a story then it is going to be written by us our own story so go ahead and write one beautiful successful and powerful story for yourself thank you thank you thank you thank you so much ma'am i think it's very inspiring no there are tons of messages in the chat window so currently around 4600 faculty members are participating and it has been inspiring no the you know the, the energy what you pumped in to the entire uh, you no know, academic fraternity it's really great and that's what you no know, people mentioned here you know, maybe you no know, that there were no questions normally there will be questions if it was a technical session but in your case it, it was more of uh, you no know, pricing and you no know, getting the confidence you no know, from a person like you and maybe just one question you no know, uh, what do you because all educators are also some of the other way nurturing startups for the future because they have students with them so what is your message to them are you no know, post covid or post this situation it is going to be you know uh, very green to the startups and entrepreneurs because you have been doing a lot of stories for them specifically so should we go nurture them or should we take a back what is that your message to entrepreneurs of future no i to to entrepreneurs of the futures and all the educators i would say more than ever now in the covid world and post covid world we will need entrepreneurs more than ever because it, let's take it next two years is going to be very hard and there will not be enough jobs and there are so many solutions india needs so many solutions you know there are so many entrepreneurs in india who are creating very innovative ventilators and they are now exporting to different parts of the world there'll be so many solutions we can build and create new wealth because if you see historically whenever there is a very big challenge whenever the world has faced big challenges out of that has come great entrepreneur has you know we have seen great entrepreneurs emerge so i will say look at the pain points look at how to make certain things efficient and go back to tell the students that this is their time to become big entrepreneur now okay thank you ma'am thank you i think that's the the message real message so thank you so much for being with us and on that to the no this morning no we have been hearing from policy makers and industry leaders the first time no we wanted a person like you who is like a you no know, eyes of uh, eyes and ears of all the entrepreneurs of the country and no we were very happy to visit you and entire audience are you know, very happy and you know they they passed a wonderful you know, uh, appreciation to your message and thanks to you on behalf of team ice academy as well as our uh, you know entire participants and our the ceo mr m chow kumar uh, you no know, conveyed his regards to you because the day you know you still remember the day when you landed in coimbatore so we are very happy you no know, just uh, all those are fond old memories so thank you very much uh, for joining us ma'am thanks a lot thank and uh, we'll be continuing with the next session thank you very much so much thank, thank you so much thank you a lot ma'am log off now yeah